list. So um, I guess when you set out to make it, uh, what, what sort of value did you see in it uh, you know, to get this narrative out there? Yeah. I think for me, just the story itself um, wasn't enough for me to want to make a film about it. Like, when it first happened, you know that thing that happens whenever anything even mildly coincidental happens in your life, where all people be like, that would make a great movie, and you're like, no, it wouldn't. Um, and I remember thinking, you know, this, these events that happened in my own life were really impactful for me and the people in my life, but um, as a story or a film, I felt like I had seen it many times. I think what was exciting for me to explore and what I wanted to make a film about was by the fact that we were all telling stories about it. We were all writing about it or talking about it. And the story was changing as it got told more and more. And it was coming back to me third and fourth hand from friends of friends as a totally different story with sometimes inaccuracies, but sometimes it was the same story, just totally different emphasis placed on various parts of it based on what resonated for people. So, um, so I think that became fascinating to me, why we tell stories, why we want to create a narrative arc out of these messy events in our lives, and, and how that's sort of a basic human need. What was most important for you to get right when it came to the story? Um, I wanted to make sure that nobody who participated in the film would feel really misrepresented. So even though nobody has their entire version in the film, and nobody, ha you know, nobody else has a film that they would have made, um, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't taking things uh, too out of context in ways that were um, intentional and I wanted to, I, I think I, I most wanted to feel like everybody was heard to a certain extent. And it seems like that was probably one of Harry's main concerns too, right? It, it's kind of the impression that I got in his saying like, no, I feel like this is my story. And it's even, I feel like, going to be tough to write about because you don't want to reveal certain things, obviously. Yeah. And I feel like, it, you know, I have to say, there is a certain person who felt like that person, yeah. <laughs> it should be that person's story. So has that person, I assume, seen the movie and, yeah. and thoughts? He's been really supportive. I mean, it obviously isn't the film he would have made, and he's like pretty clear about that in the film. But, um, you know, I think his point is, is valid when he says, you know, the part of the story that has to do with my relationship with your mother is really only mine to tell, because she's not allowed to tell it, and we're the only two people who are there for it. In the film, he actually is pretty much the only person who tells that part of the story. And, and I think that his arguments for that are quite eloquent and, and helped me develop this whole other part you know, of the film that's kind of a critique, critique of the film itself. Um, so I think he would, um, I think he certainly has some reservations and some comments about the film, but he's been very supportive and come to the premiere and you know, ultimately gave us four days to be interviewed for a film he didn't uh, agree with. So I, I think that's a pretty generous act in itself. He didn't agree with it from the get-go, or it was through the course of those interviews that he realized maybe it wasn't... No, it was beforehand, I think, that he had his biggest reservations, which were about, um, I mean, I don't know if they might you know, be as big today, but uh, certainly beforehand, a concern that the truth was going to get really... I don't want to speak for him, but in the film, he sort of outlines very eloquently, you know, how he feels, you know, asking a whole lot of people that weren't there, their opinion of what happened would not be useful in terms of finding the truth. What did this film do for you? How did you feel once it was complete while you were making it? Um, it was a really hard process to make it. I think I never felt completely at peace with the idea that I was making it in the first place. Um, and yet I felt compelled to keep going. Um, it was an amazing collaboration, especially with my DOP, I was saying, and my editor, Mike Munn, and my producer, Anita Lee. I mean, I had amazing people in all departments, but it, it was a really incredible thing to collaborate so closely with people and let people so far into the process um, of, of constructing and figuring out the film together. Um, I think it was a really interesting, it's a very interesting experience to get feedback from other people and see what completely different films they're seeing. And, you know, there's a few reveals in the film and people seem to get those reveals at totally different points. So it's really interesting to watch how subjective the watching of the film is, which is interesting to me because it's what I tried to make a film about and how we perceive the same story and how it means something different to each people. So it's kind of each person. So it's kind of cool that the project of the film itself is continuing into into rolling the film out for release. The reason I asked because uh, I was living vicariously through your film because I found out years ago my mom had me when she was 15, so yeah. she and she wanted to abort me. So I'm like, yeah. I was like thinking, wow. No one's told me anything about our family tree. And I was like, wow, this is interesting. If I did something, it would have been almost like how you did it. 
Very interesting. That's very cool. I have to ask you a question then, because I, I've had this question a couple times in the last couple of days, and I wasn't prepared for it at all. But I've had a couple people ask me, so the fact that you knew that, you know, your mom thought about was going to have an abortion with you, how does it make you feel about abortion? Which I've been, like, you know, blathering on and on and on trying to find my answer to that. I mean, obviously I'm pro-choice, but I'm curious what your Well, I like me. I've gone on to do some amazing things <laughs> <laughs> that, that they have no clue about. <laughs> so, and had they do, they may be shocked and <laughs> whatever. But it was my grandmother who saved me, but I went to a shaman and she told me about all these things. Oh, my God. So if it weren't for her, I wouldn't have known. And okay. then by the time I told my mother about it, she was like, are you okay about this? I'm like, I'm okay. I've known for years. Are you okay? That's really interesting. Anyway, thank That's you for why that I like that, yeah. because I've not seen one like that. So. Oh, cool. Are these the kind of reactions that you get, though, people sharing personal experiences is happening after screenings and That's stuff? been the richest part of the whole experience of making the film, to be honest, is to get to hear other people's family stories because I find them fascinating and I'm thrilled that people come out thinking about their own families instead of mine and for me it's like you know usually the process of releasing a film it's like even if you're talking to really smart journalists or really it out you find yourself repeating yourself and you often find yourself you know you spend you know half an hour or ten minutes with a really interesting person you find out nothing about them and you walk away feeling hollow and empty and like a bad person so it's been great that you know people have felt like they can talk about their own lives instead of just this film is each person has a uh, kind of different stories that's mm -hmm. kind of you put in this film. It's kind of interesting because lately we have a tabloid culture and you know uh, each media report kind of different stories. Sometimes it's fact, sometimes it's incorrect, it's just a rumor or something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, my question is uh, how, how much is, it put, is a kind of all fact is a correct the, the the accurate information and also is that's why you made film it's like a hey we have a, each person has a different story so mm -hmm. let's put in mm -hmm. this film because we have the culture yeah I mean I for me a really important part of the process was to include multiple perspectives and to not make it just one version or another whether everything in the film is fact I don't know everything in the film is uh, you know nothing in the film is is intentionally taken out of context and um, I think that everybody that's interviewed in the film is being truthful about their memories of events. Whether you know their truthful memories of events are actually fact, I have no idea. And I don't think anyone can know that about their own life. But I think people were as truthful as they could be, or um, they tried, at least, and, and so did I. But um, yeah, I mean, I think for me what's, what was interesting about the subject matter was the, the discrepancies in our versions of the same events and, and how we grapple with that. Well, kind of speaking to that point, um, movies that are categorized as documentaries kind of run the gamut of being matter-of-fact educational films on one end and then, uh, you know, really, like, biased agenda-type films on the other. Mm -hmm. um, how did you want to account for your own voice in the film? Like, as a filmmaker, did you want to have your opinions or th uh, theories or thoughts readily apparent, or did you want to be as impartial and transparent as you I sort of saw my role in the film as the investigator and to be kind of with the audience sort of discovering this and trying to capture it and construct it out of everybody else's versions. You know, there isn't a kind of voice of God sort of voiceover that talks about my feelings and impressions. That's at all confessional. Mostly because it, it felt like, well, maybe other people would find it interesting. It felt besides the point of what I was trying to achieve. So my role in the film really is, you know, you see me constructing the film and and putting together the story and I didn't want to leave that out because it would feel false too since the film is about storytelling to leave out the very subjective process of putting together this film there's a moment I think pretty early on when you said you, you weren't really sure what you were going to do with this if it would just be for you for the family or whatnot at, at what point did you realize okay there, there is something more here like people need to see this let me try to get a distributor definitely never had that moment, and I still haven't. <laughs> I mean, I still have enormous ambiguity about it being out in the world. It's a very, very strange process. I think I was, I think that what was hardest about making the film